see Gorby before he sees me. Cool, an iguana. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. Aha! Found you, Lily. Aw, and I had a great hiding spot. Um, no offense, Lily, but sitting on the ground, not a great hiding spot. I mean, I had a great hiding spot until an iguana came along. Hey, we saw an iguana too. It's weird. I was sitting up in that tree and scared it somehow. But it wasn't looking up at me. Like it had eyes on the top of its head. Wait a minute. I've heard of something like that. Iguanas have something called a parietal eye on top of their heads. Hey, I was kind of right. But it's not a real eye. It can't see anything clearly. It only sees changes in light. Oh, so I probably noticed when I moved around in the tree. Or more likely, that hawk. Hawks eat iguanas, you know. They eat them? Well, that's a good reason for the iguanas to run away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Will's the only one left. Let's go find her. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> snake! Snake? Did you say snake? Where? Where's the snake? There! Warby, that's not a snake. You just said that to make me come out. <gasps> No, I didn't! And if it's not a snake, what is it? No, no, don't wait. Wait. touch it! What's that thing? You know, I think that's an iguana's tail. Oh, the poor iguana. The iguana is fine, Willow. Look, that iguana has lost its tail. Oh, the poor iguana. No, look, not at all. When an iguana gets caught, or feels threatened, it can quickly detach its tail, which means drop off. Oh, so it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Don't worry, the iguana can grow a new tail. <gasps> cool. <laughs> iguana tail. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, maybe no. later. <laughs> I think the hope. Iguana tail. <laughs> Their flowers look like little lobster claws. Ooh, a hummingbird. Whoa! Oof! <laughs> Hummingbirds use their long, pointy beaks to get to the nectar in those long, pointy flowers. Only the right hummingbird can do that. I wonder which hummingbird is the right hummingbird. <laughs> Hummingbird? Yeah, we looked it up. It's a green hermit hummingbird. This is great, Willow. Um, what is that animal? It's a sloth. Luckily, it moves really slowly, or else I would have never gotten that picture. That's me and an anteater. They use their long snouts to suck up ants and eat them. Amazing! Amazing. Cool! Here I am with the poison dart frog. Poison? No way! Oh, yeah, but don't worry. I didn't touch it. Its skin is where the poison is. That's what protects them from creatures who try to eat them. And this one's Nash! That's a selfie of you taking a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> and we've just started looking. That's biodiversity. Lots of different plants and animals living in one place. <gasps> Robot tripod. 
<laughs> You're still not working. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> I see grass and some little trees. This is definitely a different biome. I think it's called the savanna. Elephants! A giraffe! Lions! Roar! Let's go there! Both thumbs up! That place looks cold! Yeah, I don't see many plants. We've flown pretty far north now. It's all rock and ice. Brrr. Animals that like it cold live here, like polar bears. Look, a polar bear! That must be another biome. Le let's go there, too! I'd give three thumbs up, but I only have two thumbs. <laughs> Hey, Chester! Yes, you're back! Oh, how was it? That was amazing! Oh, yes. hi! The Polomobile passed its test run, so we can go again anytime. How about right now? Yeah, yeah let's go! Is everyone buckled up? Six thumbs up! <laughs> yeah. The real world is right through that door! So look out, here come the polos! Coming from the woods. Come on! Maybe it's a big flock of birds. Or maybe it's a lot of frogs croaking together. But it doesn't really sound like birds or frogs. Yeah, it just keeps buzzing and buzzing. Let's figure out what direction it's coming from. Everybody, close your eyes and point to where you hear the buzz. Now, open your eyes. Oh! Whoa! Ugh. It sounds like it's coming from everywhere. Well, something here is making that noise. Let's spread out and see if we can find it. Is that an insect? Hey, Polos! Look at this weird thing. It looks like an insect used to be inside of that and then crawled out and left it behind? And there are more of them up there. I wonder where the insects went and whether they are what's making the noise. Hey, over there! Whoa, the buzzing is really loud here. Whatever is making that noise must be here somewhere. Hey, Polo, check it out. There's a huge insect on this tree. Cool! Do you think it's the insect that left those dried out shells on the tree? Maybe. It looks kind of the same. And it's not the only one! There are so many of them! Ah! Nash, what is it? Lucky! It's shaking its abdomen! Down. Plus, I bet those long legs help it take long strides so that it can cover a lot of ground. Wait, if they're such fast runners, how come they're just laying around? Cheetahs don't run for fun. They run to hunt animals for food. So, if we want to see it run, guess we should find something cheetahs run after, like gazelles. <laughs> one. I think it's creeping up on its prey. But wait, I don't see any prey. It's watching and waiting for the right time to pounce. Oh, look over there. Whoa. A gazelle. Wow, look at it go. 
Conchita is fast. But so are the gazelles. I think I got the cheetah's whole run. Let's check out the footage in slow motion. The cheetah picks up speed so quickly. And it accelerates just like I did. Look at its leaping strides. Its claws help it grip the ground so that its feet don't slip around when it runs. It says here that the cheetah's claws stay out all the time. They never fully retract. It's the only cat that does that. Let's see what the speed tracker says about how fast it's going. It was running as fast as a car driving on a highway. Zoom! Now that is fast. Cheetahs are amazing runners. Plus, I like their faces. Those black marks under their eyes are cool. Those markings are called teardrops. They help keep the sun from glaring in their eyes so they can see where they're going. You know, I think I'm ready to try another run. I put black under my eyes to block out the sun's glare. I'm stretching so that I can take long strides. And my shoes have spikes like claws so that it won't slip. Ready? Time to run like a cheetah. Go! Cheetah Lily! Awesome! Yay. Way to go! Whoa! That was your fastest time ever! Way to go, Lily! Thanks, Willow. Thanks a lot for helping me learn to run faster, cheetah old buddy. And now I'm going to do something else that cheetahs do. What's that? Play 